Tonight at 7.30, the new colonials, why everyone's moving to Brisbane. What's wrong with the Queensland police? A scathing new report. And last train to Yarraka, a bush town on a knife edge. Those stories and many more, 7.30. Deep vein thrombosis, the hidden killers in our hospitals. Australian researchers have developed the process which seeks out the clots. It's fast, accurate and painless. Can this new computerised navigating system turn the tide on maritime disasters worldwide? And in Queensland, farming animals more naturally suited to our climate. Quantum, 8 o'clock tonight, ABC. Following Quantum, our ABC special, Cenotaph, takes a look at the still present effects of the Great War on the small New South Wales country town of Hay. At 9.30, Attitude asks, are the Defence Forces relevant to young people in the 90s? Then it's news and late line with Kerry O'Brien. Blues Moon over Byron from this year's Blues Festival and Alexi Sale presents his stuff tonight on your ABC in Queensland. <laughs> Tonight, prominent Queensland Aboriginal leader Noel Pearson gives the Liberal Party a blast over land rights. The woman who's seen the Virgin Mary gets the court's blessing to keep her shrine. And the Gold Coast wins the right to host the America's Cup trials. Good evening, Rod Young with ABC News. A leading Aboriginal spokesman has delivered a stinging broadside at the Federal Liberal Party over its approach to the Mabo ruling. The director of the Cape York Land Council, Noel Pearson, today accused the Liberals of donning hoods and wielding flaming crosses. And Australians in general didn't escape either, with Noel Pearson claiming racist ideology is embedded in the national consciousness. Brenda Conroy reports the comments came as Prime Minister Keating moved to shore up support for his Mabo plan from the Coalition's traditional power base, Australia's Farmers. Noel Pearson says politicians are wasting the opportunity presented by Mabo to educate Australians about Aboriginal affairs. He accuses Queensland Premier Wayne Goss of reinvigorating the racist doctrine of...